You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a familiar face for Greater Brockton viewers, Mary Waldron from Brockton, but we're talking Bridgewater State. That's exactly right. Um, we're talking about a great program put on through Bridgewater State, mm -hmm. the Citizen Leadership Program. That's right. I took advantage of it a few years back, yeah. the last time you did it, and it's coming up on Thursday, May 10th. Tell us about it. So, Bridgewater State University, as you know, we're pretty engaged in so many different aspects within the city of Brockton, and one of the things that we feel that's very important, you know, in the, in the times that we're in where civility kind of goes out the door and looking at how to get engaged with everybody having busy lives, it's time to present this free program called Citizen Leadership. Um, we're doing it in conjunction with Mayor Carpenter and the, the city of Brockton. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be held May 10th at the War Memorial Building from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So that's the details. The question would be, like, why are we doing this? Um, mm -hmm. You know, at Bridgewater, we have so many talented faculty and staff. Um, the fact that I live in Brockton and know a lot of the people here in terms of the community, uh, really thought that this is something that it's about time that we come back again. So it was done in 2016, mm -hmm. and we had about 150 um, people, citizens, that showed up. And um, they were engaged. We had some breakout section, sessions. And, um, and one of the things that was great for me was that you had young and old, um, established some newcomers. Um, you had students. You had young people. It was just awesome. And people were starting to come together for the same purpose. And that's sort of like is a little bit of how do we get together? Where is that common ground within the city for everybody to get together and, and kind of get behind each other? Well, it's all interrelated if you think about it. I got the mailing in the mail from the mayor's office. I'm on the library board. I'm on the school committee. So you have elected officials, appointed officials. Correct. You have people, um, you know, boards and commissions have vacancies all the time. When you were in the mayor's office, you were part of that process right, back in right, the day. Right. And you have long-serving members. You have new blood. You have new members. Um, the boards have gotten, you know, very diverse. Yeah. And there really isn't a lot of board training, if you really think about it. And this program kind of what's your appetite in a way because you have a master public administration program at Bridgewater State yeah. um, that you could easily get involved in after you go through this. That's right. Um, That's right. But it, it, it helps. You, you're right about the, the civility and, and the discourse and the discussion because just because you're on a board and you don't agree with your fellow board member doesn't mean you have to take it personally. Right, correct. And um, Christopher McMillan, who's yes. on your faculty over yes, there, yes. wonderful, very low-key gentleman. Mm -hmm. I think he's the perfect person Isn't to bring he? over he here, really is in correct. my opinion, because no, we, we, we met him in our Bridgewater's Rotary Club. Right, right. And uh, Larry Azer, who's a senior instructor in the political science right. department, who I look forward to meeting. Mm -hmm. Kelly Brodsman, who's been a guest on my yes, show yes, from yes. the Martin Richard Institute, right. the executive director of right. Martin Institute, Institute for Social Justice, Justice. which I love, and Isn't I love great? what they're doing. They're doing a great job. And I think over having there. all of them tied in, and particularly with my role in terms of regional engagement and being involved in Brockton and keeping Bridgewater and, and, and um, the city of Brockton really engaged, this is a good first start again and restart. So what I found at the age of getting to be close to 58, is now I'm like that senior person where mm -hmm. people are coming to me, hey, Mary, what do you think? I think this is a great opportunity in a neutral ground. It's not political. It's not anything other than being providing some good initial training. And maybe that person's on that edge about whether they want to serve on a board, um, which is why the mayor's office is engaged with us, because he's looking for some people who want to serve. Mm -hmm. um, and then give that enough of an idea of saying it's not as bad. It surely does take time, mm -hmm. but if you have a number of people instead of just one and people kind of coming together, whether it's a, a neighborhood group, you know, uh, Lynn Smith right. has been very engaged with us and she will be in attendance and having her involvement and, you know, you're, we all are now becoming a little bit of, I don't want to call us statesmen, and I'm going to include you as part of it, but people who have been around for a while saying it's okay to come in and test the waters. And so from Bridgewater's role, we want to be able to say, here's some rules. So it's, it's really a one-day event, mm -hmm. but we're offering a online portion. So we're going to give some overview about how to be engaged, how to know what budget. So Larry um, Azer is um, uh, 
he, as his profession, he is a, um, a budget manager for a school district. So he was bringing that expertise. And then, um, you know, and then with Christopher being an attorney and some of the conflict of interest laws and open meeting laws, right? That's usually when everybody says that and they take one step back and they're saying like, uh-uh, this is not for me. So we want to make it enjoyable. And so all the documents that we're going to provide either in person at the session on May 10th or the documents that will be available online will all be able to download and they get to keep it. I love it. I love it. Um, what happened to me when I first got involved to serve is I had Dr. John Lingos, who was the long-term chair of the library board, and he wanted someone on younger. So this was 20 years ago. Okay, I'm, I'm getting up there too, Mary. I'll be 57 <laughs> this summer. And he recruited me. Oops, and I didn't realize my phone was on, unfortunately. I said shut it off, and mine's sitting right on there. Um, but basically, I got on, mm -hmm. and then what I did two years ago is I got Gene Bradley on as the person right. down the road <laughs> to right. replace me. Right. And then he then went we to city right. council. Right. So, uh, it, you know, and I wanted people on the board, you know, down the road. You, you can stay on a long time, like right. even my school committee seat. I've been on for three terms, okay? Right. I said when I first got there, I'm kind of like a self-imposed term limits type of guy mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. at some point, some when point. I'm 64, I right. think I want somebody else to right. have the seat, okay? And I'll help them at that point. Um, I, I, there's always a way to serve. You don't necessarily Correct. have to be on a board of commission, okay. the neighborhood associations you talked about, yeah. community groups. Think yeah. about think about yeah. where people came from. Think about yourself. When you first got involved in the community before you worked for the city, mm -hmm. you were a community activist. Right. Your husband, John, was Correct. a community activist. My daughter, Casey. Your daughter, Casey. And you're still giving back through the Just Checking In Foundation. So. And I think that's the point, right? I'm saying if I can do it, like really anybody can, and from my perspective and seeing, you know, Casey and her friends and my neighbors and new neighbors coming in, I think it's our, in terms of Bridgewater State University's role, it's our role to be there and help support. So you mentioned our MPA program. Many of our students come from this exact area, from Brockton and from the region. We also have a certified public managers and it's a, 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 a continuing studies type of a class. So um, you can take one or two for you know no credit but getting the experience and you can get a certificate for completion like there's all these things that we're really trying to do is we know at Bridgewater State we know that Brockton and our region is our lifeline and we have a social responsibility to be here and be engaged and this is just one of the ways just one of the ways so if you know a parent who's on a parent advisory council if you know someone who is thinking about trying to get engaged or start a neighborhood group or someone who even wants to run for elected office. This is a good starter. And we'll be doing a little survey, so we'll be asking people if they want more, we'll give them more, but we'll start with this. Got the one minute queue. Great. So what I want to say is you can go, it's free, but you have to register. You have to you register. Can tell us how to register. Correct. There is, um, the, the most important way right now is to go onto City's website, and on their website, there'll be the Citizens Leadership Program link, and it will link right to, to our registration. Um, so, and if that is something you have room problems with, you can call my office, and that's 508-531-2255. That's my direct line. I'll answer it, and I'll get back to you. And all you have to do is saying, hey, Mary, this is Mark Lindy, and I want to register, and I will call you back, and we'll get you registered. We'll have some light refreshments. Sounds good. May Sounds good. 10th at, from 7, I mean, from six, 6 to 9. 6 to 9. At the War Memorial. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Always a Mark. pleasure. Thank you very much. Good to see you. You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.